This is the Crenova Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter. Let's take it out of the box. Comes in a nice little padded case here with a wrist strap and a card. And in the pouch we find the instruction manual, the meter, some leads, and the battery, which is included. Let's set all of this up. Okay, the back of the meter has a place to store your probes. Also has a nice flip out stand. So that way you can set it up like that. But first thing we need to do is install the battery. And that goes in here. So we just need to remove that screw. And now the whole back piece comes off and we just plug the battery in and put it back. Alrighty, I have the leads plugged in. Your typical red and black lead. We're going to be measuring some voltage today as well as some resistance. But also included are a set of alligator clip leads. Very, very, very convenient. This way you can clip onto wires and measure that way. Now what's really nice is that this is an auto ranging meter so there's really nothing you need to do but set it to the unit you'd like to measure and the meter will do the rest. So we'll go ahead and turn that to the first setting which is volts DC and there's our zero reading there. The display is quite readable. Of course the display is going to jump around a bit. That's completely normal with a very sensitive meter as such. The display is also backlit and the camera can actually see it a lot better with that on. It's perfectly readable either way uh, in this lighting that I have here. So now let's get this set up and we'll measure a couple of different things. Okay, we're all set here. I have this still on the DC volt scale and this is just an old AA battery that's laying around. So we can hook that up and that is reading 1.622. So that battery looks like it's in good shape. I have another one here that we can go ahead and test. 1.621, so that looks good also. And notice that it doesn't make a difference even if you go backwards and put the black on the red and the red on the black. It's just going to show a minus sign in there. So, like I said, it's auto ranging, so if you go up to higher voltage ranges than just this, you'll see this one is a little bit lower at 1.605. Let's measure something else now. Here's a big heavy boat anchor of a battery that I know is not too good. This battery won't take a charge, but it does have a little bit of life in it. And if I go ahead and meter that, it's reading 5.9 volts and it won't take a charge. Like I said, I know it's dead, but it does have a little bit of life in it for running very small loads. I'll try something else now. All right, for this test, we're gonna measure the line voltage. So we'll go over to AC, just like that. I've got power in my socket here, and I'm going to take the probes, holding by the insulated parts only, and we'll see what our line voltage is reading today. 120.3, so right on. Very good. And I can do that safely with the insulated probes. And by the way, this has double fuse protection in case you do overload it. And now what we can do is we can do a continuity check. We'll go over there, and right now it's all set to measure ohms and continuity. Now right now it comes up by default with the beeper off, but you can just press the function button and a little indicator shows up there for the tone. And now if I touch these probes together, it should beep continuously, and we should get a reading very, very close to zero. Perfect. So that works. So here's just a regular screwdriver and we know this is metal but it is not going to offer the greatest connectivity over here because it's got scuffs and scratches and all kinds of things. So let's see if we can measure continuity first. And that looks good. 
And if we turn the beeper back off, depending on exactly where I move it, we may be getting not exactly zero. Like right there, there's no connection. But if I move it, then we can get a connection. Just like that. So it's very sensitive and seems to work very, very well. And you can measure other things with this. If you had a resistor that you needed the value of, you could turn it to ohms. It will also measure hertz or cycles per second. And then you have your amp range. And there's also an off at each side, as you see. So you can turn it off either way, whatever is most convenient. And like I showed before, the backlight, I don't know how the camera will show it. It seems in this shot to be a little bit washed out, but again, in the lighting I have in this room, it's perfectly readable either which way. And when you're done using it, if you'd like, you can wrap these probes up right in there, and they're there for easy access the next time that you need to use the meter. So once again, this was the Crenova Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter. It's a full-featured multimeter. It has a nice set of probes on it. They give you a really nice touch. The alligator clip wires, that I found very, very handy as well. Everything is laid out in the manual for you. And it seems to be pretty accurate as well. So all around, a very nice digital multimeter from Crenova. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.